When Miravarma was in high school, she felt like a black cloud followed her everywhere she went. Her struggles with mental health were difficult to explain to family members in their mother tongue, Hindi. Although they were supportive, she needed professional help. She found it in her school counselors, whom she saw almost daily as a senior. After suffering frequent panic attacks in class, she started advocating at school district meetings for mental health services to be made a priority. I felt really isolated, and I didn't want anyone to ever feel like I did, Varma, 21, said. Varma continued that activism after enrolling at UCLA, where she joined Active Minds, an organization whose mission is to change the conversation on mental health among college students. In recent years, that conversation has grown louder. The two years of the COVID-19 pandemic have touched nearly everyone's lives in some way, but members of Gen Z have been hit particularly hard. Loss of normalcy and routine during a time of immense development has contributed to increasing rates of mental illness in adolescence, said psychologist Tamika Damone, who runs a private practice, Believe Psychology Group. Genzers have been more open about their struggles than members of older generations, a pattern that has meant rates of mental illness appear higher among young people. Members of Gen Z and Millennials are also more likely to seek out mental health support than older generations, according to a recent survey by the American Psychological Association. For students of color, the last two years have brought additional burdens. The murder of George Floyd Police violence and anti-Asian hate crimes have amplified feelings of vulnerability that many students already experienced because of the pandemic, said April Clay, Director of Counseling Services at Cal State L. A. The result, a rising demand for mental health services on college campuses, which many schools are struggling to keep up with. For decades, the supply of mental health professionals on college campuses nationwide hasn't met the demand, according to data collected between 2013 and 2021. One national organization that accredits counseling centers at many colleges and universities recommends one therapist for every 250 students, a standard many schools fail to meet.